It's umsum time. How was silk invented? Huh? Wait, let me ask my designer. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Show Off. <laughs> silk is one of the oldest fabrics that originated in ancient China. According to legend, it was accidentally invented by Empress Si Ling Chi. One day, the Empress was drinking tea under a mulberry tree. Suddenly, a cocoon fell into her cup and began to unravel into shiny threads. The Empress was so fascinated by those shiny threads that she immediately began to look for its source. To her surprise, the cocoons were made by Bombix Mori silkworms. The Empress then got an idea of making shiny fabric from those threads, and voila, that's how silk was invented. Note that the Chinese kept the process of making silk a secret and earned a lot through silk export. However, gradually, the production technique spread to other countries and they too began producing silk. Hmm. Why do snakes have forked tongue? Just for fashion! No. Even though snakes have noses, they smell odors of their prey. Ah. Mate or surroundings with the help of their tongue and vomeronasal organ. Each time a snake flicks its tongue in air, it collects odor particles. Then when the tongue is brought back, the particles are transferred to the vomeronasal organ. This organ detects the odors and sends signals to the brain, helping the snake smell. Wow, that's interesting. Now, we know that when we see with our two separate eyes, our brain combines the two different perspectives and makes a detailed image of our surrounding. Similarly, because the tongue of a snake is forked, it collects odor particles from two different locations, helping the snake understand in which direction oh. the odor is coming from and thus making it easier to locate the prey. Hmm. Are Einstein's gravitational waves real? No, they are waves created by Titanic. As always, you are wrong. Gravity is the attractive force with which two objects pull each other. However, Albert Einstein imagined gravity as well as space and time a little differently. His theory of general relativity unified two separate entities, space and time, into a single entity called space-time. Space-time can be considered as the fabric of the universe. Now, just like a heavy ball creates a curve or distorts the trampoline, mass of an object creates a curve in space-time. According to Einstein, this curve is gravity. Wow! This trampoline is amazing! Ugh, first listen. Just like our hands create ripples in water, moving objects create ripples in space-time. These ripples are termed as gravitational waves. Gravitational waves were directly observed for the first time on September 14, 2015 by Laser Interferometer Gravitational Observatory in the US. Hmm? Why is ocean water salty? Mm -hmm. Several natural processes make ocean water salty. Uh -huh. For example, when it rains, the water droplets react with carbon dioxide in the atmosphere and form carbonic acid, making rainwater slightly acidic. This acidic rainwater reacts with minerals present in the rocks and forms new minerals and salts. These minerals and salts are then carried by flowing water to the oceans, thus making the ocean water salty. In addition to this, along the mid-ocean ridges, magma rises close to the oceanic crust. Here, when the salty ocean water seeps into the Earth's crust, it gets hot due to magma. This hot water dissolves more minerals present in the crust and carries them to the oceans through fissures called hydrothermal vents, thus making the ocean water salty. 